गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ मॉड्यूल फोर दैट इज प्रोडक्शन एंड सर्विसेस सो बेसिकली इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोडक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो प्रीवियसली वी टॉक अबाउट डायमेंशन ऑफ एजुकेशन डायमेंशन ऑफ हेल्थ जस्टिस and in this lecture we are going to discuss about production and services so what would be the goal of this dimension of production and service so number 1 to produce or manufacture the physical facilities and materials needed for proper utilization so while living we need physical facilities and it is also required to proper utilize the available physical facilities so to utilize the available physical facilities it is required enough physical facility for us so to communicate to travel to convey our feelings to convey our thoughts a physical facility would be required so that's why this dimension of production plays a very important role in a human society another objective could be to make necessary services available for everyone so for these two purposes there is a need for production so that's why we are discussing this production dimension of production so the important questions related to productions are what to produce how to produce and how much to produce are these three questions important for you or not so ask yourself take a pause and investigate before producing physical facility these questions should be answered what to produce how to produce and how much to produce so let's explore all these questions so what to produce definitely whatever we are going to produce whatever we are going to produce physical facilities or material actually it is required to ensure nutrition protections and health of the body so one objective of producing things is to ensure nurturing protection and health of the body then another is producing physical facility needed for smooth running and maintenance of the system in the society so if you observe the role of physical facility you can find out these two roles very prominently number 1 physical facilities required for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body health of the body and number 2 physical facilities are also required for smooth running and maintenance of the system so for this purpose the production is required now we can discuss how to produce so how to produce so production processes needs to be cyclic and eco friendly so number 1 it should be eco friendly so eco friendly means it should be complementary to all the four orders so if it is complementary to rest of the three orders it is eco friendly so along with this eco friendly it also needs to be people friendly so eco friendly and people friendly are two indicators of the ethical production so when the production is eco friendly it means all the people who are involved in the production are working with the feeling of justice with the feeling of mutual happiness if it is ensured it is known as people friendly 
and while producing if the production or if the produced ensures harmony with rest of the three orders it means it is eco friendly so it keeps relationship and mutual behavior in the focus so you can think of these two steps whether these steps are important or not so ethical production is a production where this eco friendliness and people friendliness is ensured so if every member of the family is participating in the production there is no need to take out any extra time for maintaining relationships and mutual behavior so if in a system there is a enough scope for every family member to produce the things then there is no need to take extra time because it is involved during the process with family members so along with this probability of exploitation will also become minimum so if family produces with mutual happiness with the feeling of justice then this probability of exploitation become minimum so if we ensure these two things along with this relationship then exploitation of resources and exploitation of human beings involved in the process get minimized number 3 how much to produce so how much to produce more than our need so what is required for nurturing protection as we talked many times during the previous courses during the previous lectures so more than our need is required to produce more than our need because of the feeling of sharing so if i have more than required physical facility i can share that physical facility with our relative we can use that physical facility for our society so that's why there is required more than our need so if we are talking about need need for right utilization at the level of individual family society and system so once we are producing more than our need then second important point is what is available to us it should be rightly utilized by individual by family by society by system also so if we follow this if we investigate this then the process becomes ethical so more is required for fulfillment of the needs in relationship and for the system more is required to be free from the feeling of being deprived more is required to develop the mentally and practice to share and give so all these things the more is required so how much to produce more than our need why more because of fulfillment of needs in relationships because of to be free from feeling of deprivation because of to develop the mentality and practice should share the things this more than need is not for indulgence or misutilization more than is required for this purpose so far we discussed three important questions number 1 what to produce so what is to be produced we should produce those physical facilities that are required for nurturing protection and health of the body or that is required for a smooth running and maintenance of the system then we discussed how to produce how to produce it means it should be cyclic and eco friendly so with this eco friendly this people friendly factor should be there then we talked about how much to produce so how much to produce more than our need and more than our need is not for indulgence or misutilization 
more than our need is for fulfillment of the needs in the relationship then we can talk about recognizing need of physical facility because recognizing need is an important factor how much to produce more than our need so it is important that we should recognize our need so that's why we are going to discuss this topic recognizing need of physical facilities <clears throat> so if you see need of human being so before discussing need of human being we should be clear what is human being so as we previously talked about this coexistence of self and body many times you must have read this coexistence of self and body in which we two in which we three and during this course also in previous slides we studied many times about the coexistence of self and body but here i am going to briefly describe it so that you can grasp the concept of production so before talking about need we should be able to recognize what is our need real need and it can be identified when we are able to see that human being is a coexistence of self and body so to understand the needs of a human being we need to look into the needs of self as well as the body so once i am clear what is the need of self what is the need of the body <clears throat> then we can identify our need clearly so we studied it that this human being is a coexistence of self and body and needs of self is happiness prosperity in continuity needs of body is physical facility needs and activities are continuous in time in consciousness in the self and need and activity are temporary in time for the body so with this we studied about self regulation if we have feeling of self regulation so if we have feeling of this self regulation we are able to ensure the health so self regulation we read about the feeling of responsibility towards the body feeling of responsibility to nurture to protect and to right utilize the body is self regulation so when we see physical facility in this context context of nurturing protection and right utilization so when we see this physical facility in the context of nurturing protection and right utilization of the body then we can investigate that the required physical facility is limited so food for nurturing is limited in quantity quantity clothes shelter for protection is actually limited in a quantity instrument for the right utilization of the body is actually limited in the quantity so we can say that the physical facility required for the body is limited in quantity so once we are clear that the physical facility is limited in quantity then we identify our need what is our real need then we can identify what is our real need so with this clarity we are able to find out our need and with this clarity of need we can have feeling of prosperity so the feeling of prosperity is the feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility so for this feeling two things are required number 1 identification of required physical facility and number 2 ensuring availability of production of more than required physical facility and this clarity of identification of need can be ensured with right understanding and this availability production of more than required physical facility is ensured with right skills so to have the clarity of needs these two things are required number 1 identification of required physical facility that can be ensured through right understanding and number 2 availability or production of more than required that can be ensured with right skills 
so with this right skills right understanding of need we can have feeling of prosperity and we can identify we can recognize our real needs so when we identify our real needs when we are able to find out our required physical facility then we have feeling of prosperity and a prosperous person thinks of right relation nurturing the other so when we have feeling of prosperity we think of the nurturing and protection of our relatives so with this clarity we can evaluate our needs but if we see state of today there is a shortage of physical facility not because of the lack of production or absence of production so there are there is a shortage of physical facility is because lack of right understanding is lack of recognition of real needs so this is one data <clears throat> you can read it that global production is six times than requirement and wastage of food is one third of the production and this wastage is enough to feed 1300 crore people per year so the food is being wasted not because of the lack of production it is because of the lack of right understanding due to which we are not able to find out our real need and because of the absence of this right understanding enough food that is required for 1300 crore people per year is being wasted <clears throat> so why it is happening we have to ask ourselves have we understood human needs have we understood right utilizations is shortage of question of production or distribution it is a question of basically right understanding so all this you have to explore <clears throat> then we can talk about what to produce so what to produce so we will study the types of production so production is required for physical facility services which include repair and maintenance work for all this production is required and with this we can see the types of production so number one primary production and services so primary production a production which is required for nurturing and protection of the body for example food clothes shelters and similarly services primary services are services that are required to ensure the above production so cooking cleaning care of children hair cutting etc so this is the primary production it should be ensured at first priority then we can go for secondary production and services so secondary production means equipment instruments required to produce physical facilities for example tractor for farming cement mixer truck train etc and to ensure the above services are required repairing services are required maintenance services are required so this is the second priority production then the tertiary production and services are like instrument designing coding software etc these are tertiary production and whatever is required to maintain this service is required for that so if we decide the priority order of this production we can say first priority is this second priority is this and third priority is this so you can ask yourself you can observe in the society are we following this order if we follow this order then everyone will have enough physical facility so with right understanding we can find out which production is required at priority 
So with right understanding, we can see primary production is required, then secondary and then tertiary production is required. So primary production and services are most important for us to survive. If there is a death of this primary production, it will be difficult to survive on this planet. Then secondary production and services are helpful in doing the primary production. And then tertiary production and services are mostly needed for participation in the larger order. So if we try to decide its priority order, its priority order will be primary, secondary and tertiary. So if we follow this order in the society, everyone will have enough physical facility, everyone will have right understanding, and everyone can produce with this clarity of need. So this is what we have discussed about the priority order of the production. So this is a small assignment you can work with yourself, make a list of all physical facility and services being used in our home. You can categorize all these physical facilities and services under the column primary, secondary and tertiary. From this list, you can get an idea of how many types of production and services are needed in the society. Then the list can also be divided on the basis that a particular production is related to nurture, protection of the body or running of the social system. All this homework you can do at your home. In this manner, you will be able to see the priority order which is being followed in the society. Then last issue is how to produce. So how to produce according to natural laws, laws of mutual fulfillment in nature. So there are four most important points to be considered. Number one, our processes should be mutually enriching. Then the rate of production and consumption of produced faculty, it should be taken care. Then mutually enriching cyclic process of byproducts, so whatever production is being done, its byproduct should be recyclable. It should be mutually enriching to rest of the orders. And then evaluation of appropriateness of the technology before its generalization. So if we consider all these four points, then we can have a production process that would be mutually enriching with rest of the nature. So let's see one by one, mutually enriching process means process according to natural laws, cyclic and mutually enriching process of earth and its resources should be ensured while producing any things. So whatever production process we are going to use, it should follow the natural laws, cyclicity, mutual enrichment with rest of the nature. Otherwise, it will be, would be exploitative. <clears throat> so we have already gone through this figure of the four order. If you see the three order, plant order, material order and animal order, you can see all these three orders are cyclic and mutually enriching to each other. But there is a question mark on human being. So if we have right understanding, if we ensure such kind of processes, such kind of production processes that ensure mutual enrichment and cyclic with rest of the nature, then the whole globe will be prosperous. But due to lack of this right understanding, due to not following the natural laws, the human being unknowingly exploitating rest of the three orders. So it should be taken care while establishing any production process that our production process should be cyclic and mutually enriching. 
सो वेन एंड वेयर टू प्रोड्यूस सो प्रोड्यूस अकॉर्डिंग टू सीजन एंड रीजन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वॉट एवर इज प्रोड्यूस्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू सीजन एंड रीजन इट एक्चुअली नर्चर द बॉडी सो मेटेरियल शुड बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन देयर नेचुरल सीजन ऑफ ग्रोथ और प्रोडक्शन मेटेरियल शुड बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन जोग्राफिकल रीजन वेयर दे ग्रो नेचुरली सो वेन वी ग्रो और प्रोड्यूस a material in other season or region then they may increase the related problems so in fact all those things which are seasonal and regional actually nurture the body then rate of consumption of a material should be less or at max equal to the rate of production so if we are not taking care of this rate of consumption then our production process will become exploitative so minimize the use of materials which are not being produced if they are used their reuse and recycle should be ensured so rate of consumption faster than the rate of production results in depletion of resources so if you if you keep rate of consumption faster than the production ability of the earth then it will exploit the whole nature and resources there will be problem of resource depletion so pollution is one of those problems if we do not follow these natural laws so pollution is basically it does not return to the cycle in nature so whatever is not mutually enriching become would become a pollution a garbage for us so pollution is because of these two things one maybe that are produce we are producing at a rate that is faster than the consumption or it is not returning to the nature that's why there is a pollution similarly all the by products coming from out of our production system should be absorbed in nature in accordance with mutually enriching cyclic process so if we follow all these rules or if we take care all these points then our production becomes ethical if we ignore any of these natural laws then our production process we may say that it is unethical accordingly we can evaluate our technologies so we should take care while designing any technology while doing any invention whether this technology is going to complement with rest of the nature or not so we can have guidelines of technology related to this natural laws then minimum requirement of any production system is that it should be not it should not harm nature in any way but along with that it will be better if the production process enriches the nature so no harm is indicator of protection and helping the nature to prosper is an indicator of enrichment so protecting the nature means our technology our production system is not harming the nature so we should design our production system such that we can participate contribute in the enrichment of the nature so we have studied this four order its neatness its natural characteristics and with this understanding we can design our production process our production system so that it becomes complement to rest of the nature so our production system or technology should facilitate the existence of physical order by ensuring conducive environment and maintaining and ensuring its constitution similarly with bio order it should facilitate its growth or at least it not disturb the growth and with animal it sh- should facilitate care of the body by ensuring physical facility conducive environment for their existence and for human order it should facilitate will to live with continuous happiness so if we design our production processes if we design our technology keeping this participation in the center then our production system become ethical so let some of the whole things we started with the production 
we started with the production and we talked about what to produce how to produce how much to produce where to produce and we saw that we should follow natural laws while designing the technologies while designing the production system if we do that then our production systems become ethical so that's all from my side for this lecture in the next lecture we will talk about policies related to production thank you very much have a nice day